so tonight I tried the vinyl, the stencil vinyl on the the sample shirts that I did on the supplementation. So I would say it's the paper studio stencil material from Hobby Lobby. It was $8.99 and it was 40% off. And I think it's pretty frequently goes from 40 to 50% off. And I could have obviously done this with vinyl or sublimation, but I'm just trying new products, like I've said. So the stencil cut out, this is the sticker part, and I just like literally stamped it across, not stamped it, but like put it around, like, and it's not perfect. And then I have these fabric markers that I use just to try them out from Amazon. They're permanent. Um, and this is... And then I did the strong woman and I added the, you know, I think obviously this would have been a lot easier with actual acrylic paint, like these acrylic paints. Um, and this is what the, I'm going to actually keep these ones because I think those are cute too. So the setting that I did use on here on the circuit um, design is the stencil vinyl and it cut it just fine. There was no issues. You can use this on wood, on walls. Like like I said, I would recommend the fabric markers are really, really fun and they go on smoothly. But um, it's time consuming and I started to get a little sloppy as you could see. But I, I'm actually going to go through tomorrow. I'm tired tonight. Um, I'm going to go through and like put in some acrylics. So that was kind of cool to know that that's possible. And then I wanted to show you some of the sublimation shirts that... We've done this. Um, I was not able to conquer the the mirror design on the Epson. And I'm not sure if it's because I'm using the iPad on that one. Or if it needs to be done, like uploaded onto a laptop. So there's more options. But I was able to do the mirror image um, through Cricut Design. But when it prints out, it has the border. Which you could put on a Cricut, uh, I mean on the circuit and cut out the border. Or you could just free cut it. Just like I said, don't touch the image. So this one I didn't cut the border on. I love this one. But, you know, I'm just testing different materials. This one is 100%. This one is 65% polyester. And then the rest is cotton. This one is 100% polyester. And But look at this. Like, what I'm finding is the heat press, if it's not big enough and you're doing it in two different areas, you really need to be cautious of the pressure and not overlapping one area again because it will change the color. Like, as you could see, there's darker and lighter. And then I did this one, which my husband, he's a huge fan of cowboys. But um, I had to heat press the top portion and then heat press the bottom portion. So I do see the benefits of having a big heat press. I'm just using the Cricut 9x9, nine nine, which is fine. It's perfectly fine for smaller projects. Um, And this is the vinyl, which is nice. I, and it's fun still, but it's definitely feels stickery. I don't know if it's because I didn't heat press it long enough. Um, but if you start to do it too long, it starts to crack a little bit. So I love this and I love that it's sparkly, but it's hard and time consuming cutting out or weeding out, like peeling out each little area, especially the smaller details and it's time consuming. And then I did one that was like this, but like I said, my daughter's reading this book in class and she wanted me to make that. And then we all know that, um, I do feel like this one actually came out. This is 65%. Cotton, this was the very first shirt. Not 60, it's 65% polyester. This, you know, I honestly think without the borders, it actually turned out really well. But this is the one that I did not mirror and it's backwards. So I'm just trialing and airing. I have lots of different more materials. I have a big old mess everywhere. Um, When I cut this studio vinyl, it came like this like like that was hanging up I'm I'm impressed you know I can't I don't have any complaints and then I did use a a, a board to well I just cut this part out I need to actually take that off and put the plastic over it 
do you want to add anything, Faith? Um, I did d decide to start. Do you want to add anything? No. Um, I did want to start keeping my prints. Um, because you could use them more than once. They will fade, but just to you know, like, and you could tell. See, look at on this one, you would see the difference in colors. So. But yeah, so this is this has been I'm trying to do a little bit at a time because I do work full time and then obviously my kids. You wanna say say hi Faithy? Oh no, nope, not ready. I really need to clean my work area. Not work area, like and I eventually obviously we all have goals. <laughs> and um eventually I would love to get like a she shed studio art studio or what you not like and get all organized with a wall you know storage and shelves and hanging all these cool things but it just takes time and patience um and I do see the benefit also one more note is the benefit of getting a bigger or like a wider printer because these 8 by 11s they work on a lot of projects, but they do look a little plain on the adult shirts. And I and that's why I understand, like, now I understand why so many people do the bleach or, like, designs around it. Because they can look a little smaller. So, my goal will ev be eventually to get, a, obviously, a bigger printer and a bigger heat press. But for now, I'm just testing these materials and I could probably actually re re oh uh, well what the heck but anyhow until next time I will share my trials and errors and what's good what works what doesn't in my opinion this is all my opinion it's you know I'm not an expert yet anyhow have a good night